Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click you smell absolutely astounding today. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Did you know that today we're doing something absolutely amazing that I love doing on occasion? We're gonna look at r slash facepalm with a special guest. That is right, Mr. Facepalm. How are you doing today, Mr. Facepalm? Oh, thank you, Click. I'm so happy to be on this beautiful channel that people should totally subscribe to unless they're absolute loser. Jesus, Click, calm down. Mr. Face Palm, but yes, you should subscribe indeed. Add a boy. So today we're gonna look at a beautiful little post with plot twist, face palm moments, and all the kind of debauchery you can expect from humanity. Enjoy. Mwah. Ooh, that's a little moist, isn't it? I think this is the New York subway. You know what would make it worse? It's like, oh no, it's a little moist water leak, but then it's like, no, it's sewer water. <laughs> I don't think it actually is. It's probably like rainwater, but you know, you can always be wishful. You know what they say? When it rains, it pours. Oh, thank you, Mr. Facepalm. Whenever they come at you with, okay, boomer, just retaliate with, okay, renter. It usually either shuts them up or sets them off. It's a real soft spot for millennials knowing they will never own their own home. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Timmy, you called me a boomer. Well, the economy is fricked uh, back at ya. This sort of reminds me about that time there was this young girl who was bullied in school and her mom told her to tell her bully that, hey, you're the reason your parents got divorced <laughs> and the kid actually did it. It's like, it's that kind of vibe. Frick, Trump, Frick, Biden, 2024. Who is the one getting fricked in this scenario? We don't know, but maybe that's the strategy. Maybe this isn't actually a face palm. So if you get approached by an angry person on the street, you can say the Frick is like directed towards one of the people depending on who you're talking to. Oh yes, indeed, you play all sides. Truck lifted too high to see the Porsche in front of him. Oh, that's like two extremes from different worlds. I would imagine this would be useful if you like, you roll up beside the porch and you're like, oh my God, I can't see if there's oncoming traffic and I'm gonna turn to the right, zoop, and then you just look above the porch and then you can turn out safely. But no, it wasn't that. I was hoping for something wholesome, but I did not get it. Man, you could really say this car post was a real uplift. <laughs> this was a mistake. Just like me. Them. Why would you want to homeschool your kids? Me? Can you tell me why the Civil War started? Them. Because of slavery. Me? Incorrect. And that's why I want to teach them. So I know they're being taught the truth. Mom splaining is my job. <laughs> Out of all titles, I don't think that promotes like confidence in your homeschooling. I'm just going to be honest here. I am uh, going to regret asking. But what do people like that think the reason for the Civil War is? State rights, it's still called the War of Northern Aggression in some corners of the South. Edited to add, in no way do I think it had anything to do with the state's rights. I do not need any more history lessons of why that is wrong. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the commenter's word for it, isn't that right? Have a face palm, yes indeed. Very beautiful. Hits blunt? How the heck did Jesus find people named Matthew, Mark, Luke, John and Paul in the Middle East? Wow. Well, it's very obvious Jesus was from Ohio, okay? Makes perfect sense now, doesn't it? Richest man on earth looking down on the poorest for a streaming stunt. This has a really weird vibe to it. This has a really... <laughs> I don't... This makes me a bit uncomfortable. This clip was posted on my Facebook, but I wanted to share it here as well because it was so absurd. My views on LGBTQ issues have always been apathetic, but seeing someone waving a flag expressing their desire to nautilize children is truly disgusting. We must protect our kids. There, is there anything in this picture? There's nothing in this picture that has anything to do with anything you said. What are you talking about? Oh, wait, look, it's the same guy again. Honestly, I knew the new gen Asian girls were going to be next up, but I never expected a little Tate to come back looking tired and thick as frick. Isn't she like 16, bro? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure she's like six, okay? Mm. I have my poo throbbing right now because of this clip. Also, congratulations on her recent music video success. Ah, oh, oh, that's that's a rush of nausea right there. Why is this always the same people? It's always the same people, isn't it? It's amazing. Mr. Face Palm, I think it's time for you to kiss a loved one. That's right. Double face palm. Oh uh, no, look what they're doing to the kids over there. Oh, look at them kids. I mean, may maybe it's a bit of projection at some point, you know? May may maybe you should just like cease with everything because you're like being both a creep and accusing others of being a creep. Like it's... <laughs> 
Where does it stop? I dated this girl for four years, paid her rent for three years. Yesterday, I went to the house and caught her kissing another guy. I became angry and left. This morning, she sent me the guy's number and said I should call him and tell him there's nothing between us. What kind of situation is this? Oh my god! Oh, I would definitely call him. Yup, Dev be asking if he made sure she brushed her teeth due to what happened an hour before their passionate kiss. You should not rage against the dude. You should hate the girl. I mean, yeah, that's that's a fair point. If if someone has cheated, it's actually your partner that has been like an unfaithful little poo. Even though, of course, emotions are probably all over the place, and you're probably not feeling super charitable towards the other person either. The person who's actually in a commitment with you is the partner, not not the random person they were with. Most likely, I would call the guy, have a beer with him, and tell him how I've been paying rent for three years, etc. Then I would spend time around their house for a while. If another dude gets in or out, me and my new friend, we propose him a beer and tell them what's happening. Oh, you're just collecting friends. I mean, at least you all have the same taste in women. Sounds like a pretty sh taste, but at least you can bond over it. In the end, I will have a few new friends who bang the same chick as me. That's a men bonding thing, you know. Is it? And she will have nobody to pay her rent anymore. I can just see in front of me how they construct like a campsite in the yard outside the house. And as soon as someone comes over, it's like, yeah, come free beer. Let, let us tell you, bro. Let us tell you. Just completely, like, pee-pee blocking the entire house. It's always a good thing to take pettiness to silly extremes. I got dumped over my new piercing, guys. I really don't like your new piercing. Okay, I don't know what to tell you. Good night. Um, good night. I think I'm done with this. If that's your final answer, then okay. Yeah, that poo made me find you so unattractive. David, stop sharing location with you. <gasps> Oh, oh uh, uh, no, how will I now know where to stay away from? Oh. Uh, all right. I am gonna block your number. Don't bother messaging back. <laughs> they got a piercing, the heathen. Oh my God. You have not only punctured thy skin, but you've also punctured my heart. <sighs> Don't bother messaging back. Um, okay. I took you off all my socials. Um, okay. <laughs> I would say that it- Oops! I would say that it looks like he has a very easily p pierced ego! <laughs> we don't really see eye to eye! <laughs> Come on now, you can do- Oh, did my paw is getting sweaty. Palm! It's getting sweaty. Ah, oh, damn it. No. Comments, please. There we go. <laughs> He's looking a little bit worse, but it's fine. They're just sliding apart. Raycons are turning six. Woo! This year, Raycon is turning six, and they are having a big anniversary sale. In that time, Raycon has really made a name for themselves in the premium audio space. And this past year, they expanded their entire business with the introduction of Raycon Home and Raycon Power Tag. So needless to say, there is a lot to celebrate. To thank everyone who's shown them support in the last six years, Raycon is offering 20% off everything on their site, with select products up to 40% off. I personally enjoy their everyday earbuds for my workouts or jogging in the Swedish forests. Their 32-hour battery life and perfect inner fit makes them a very comfortable companion. All of this at half the price of other premium brands. No wonder they've already racked up 78,000 five-star reviews. Wow. Celebrate Raycon turning six with their biggest sale of the year going on right now. Hurry now to buy Raycon.com slash to click and use code birthday to get 20 to 40% off site wide. Thank you so much Raycon for sponsoring this video. And now back to the memes. Mwah. Hey girl. Um, where's your phone? Hmm. What? What's that for? To block the government? What? You, how is that gonna block the government? Are you? Did you just aluminum foil one phone to text from another and pretend that's gonna stop the government from tracking it? I don't think this is gonna work. Man, he sure do be getting wrapped up in those conspiracies. <laughs> ah, I'm losing my mind. I haven't met another human in five weeks. Police officers in Iowa are suing a teenager for defamation and invasion of privacy after they wrongfully arrested him for a DUI when he wasn't intoxicated nor showing any signs of drug or alcohol use. And then the 19-year-old posted footage of the incident on YouTube. Here is the full video these fascist cops are suing over. They arrested a teenager who had 0.00 blood alcohol reading, and now they want to suppress his First Amendment rights. An Iowan whose online video of an alleged unwarranted police traffic stop generated 
generated 2 million views and is now being sued by the arresting officers for defamation and invasion of privacy. I watched a video of it and the kid, after going to the station, had drug alcohol tests done, sat down and lectured the cop. Imagine being that bad at your job. You're being lectured by a sober teenager who was wrongfully like arrested for a DUI. Man, that's that's a bad day, isn't it? That has always struck me as a little bit odd about the American system. It seems like people are suing stuff left and right when there is no like grounds for it whatsoever. How can you sue someone for defamation by just like showing people what they themselves have said? That is pretty wild. Unless it's like really badly framed or something like that. You know, only show half the context and it looks bad without the rest of the context, that kind of thing. I mean, sure, that, 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 that I can see happening. But when there's like a full context video of someone's doing and saying, you know, so yeah, this is what they said. It's like, oh, defamation. No, you're, just, you're just quoting them, basically. That's not defamation, Yvette. Man, what an abs- oh, oh god. Well, it sounds like they really didn't have that situation handled. <laughs> <laughs> I am a trans woman. Oh, wait a second there, Twitter. Here is Hot Take Harry coming in for a indeed hot take. There is no such thing as a trans woman. You're just a woman and will never be a real man. Hot Take Harry accidentally got it right. By the looks of it, you're not gonna fool anyone either. Thank you so much, Hot Take Harry. I know you tried to be an absolute raging bigot, but because you suck so much at even being a bigot, you accidentally turned out to be an ally. Ooh. Oh, that kind of looks funny. I like the it's like chewing your own, chewing your own eyes. Myth: Muscles weighs more than fat. Okay. A pound of fat and a pound of muscle weigh exactly the same. Yeah, no sh. A pound of anything versus a pound of anything else is gonna weigh a pound, which is the same. That's like the dumbest introductory sentence I've ever seen. A bot, and this is where the confusion comes in. The volume of muscle is denser and more compact. It would take four pounds of muscle to fill the space of one pound of fat, explains this PhD person, senior clinical. What? Are you, oh my God! What do you mean? Muscle weighs more than than it does. You're talking about density, otherwise you can't- <laughs> ah, ah. That's right, a kilogram of steel, because steel is heavier than feathers. They're both a kilogram, but- but steel is heavier than feathers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, I suppose the purely linguistic part can be confusing, but when we talk about weight of things, we actually do indeed talk about density. Because otherwise there would be no point in comparing anything, right? Because then it's just like a pound of something is always equal to a pound of something else. So what you're referring to is density. That's like what tangibly makes sense. If I was Superman, I would immediately fly off into space to look for evidence that aliens existed. Bro. Come closer. Let me explain this to you. You would be an alien. Hey, make sure your phone is shut off at 2.19 until like 2.50 tomorrow. The government is sounding an emergency signal at that time like an alarm. And many think it's at a frequency that could make you all of us sick. Bzzz. Oh no, that's the bubonic plague. Different frequencies can affect us positively, but there are some that can harm us. I mean, sure, if you have a really bad annoying frequency, I'm sure you can get a headache or something like that, but like... Do you, do you know what frequencies mean? Many think the frequency they are using can slash will harm us. Okay, Karen, at what frequency will that be? What frequency randomly makes people sick when played in like a phone speaker? Which frequency is it, hmm? Hmm? Tony Hawk. A woman seated in front of me rudely cut me off while boarding because she assumed I wasn't in first class. Then she watched me in parental guidance. <laughs> That's really funny. I mean, to be fair, even if it wasn't the Tony Hawk and flying in first class, it's still such a butthole move. Who buys a pricey ticket for an airplane instead of spending it at your destination just to, like, be rude to other passengers? <laughs> I paid for this seat that is slightly more in front of the airplane. <laughs> Peasants. I mean, it is kind of funny that she got put in her place this way, but I also wouldn't be surprised if she actually didn't notice, because she doesn't strike me as the person who would notice things uh, in people around her. The Guardian, UK News, boy 16 arrested after felling a famous Sincamore Gap tree at Harridan Swall. Yeah, I read about this. 
It's absolute trash. What a, what a travesty of a teenager. The Sinkamore Gap tree, or Robin Hood tree, was a Sinkamore tree standing next to Harridan's Wall near Craiglow in Northumberland, England. It was located in a dramatic dip in the landscape and was a popular photographic subject, described as one of the most photographed trees in the country. It derived its alternative name from featuring in a prominent scene in the 1991 film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. The tree won the 2016 England Tree of the Year Award. There's an England Tree of the Year Award. Damn, you learn something new every day. The tree was felled in the early morning of 28th of September 2023 in an act of vandalism. What an absolute poo! This is why humanity can't have nice things. I know there are many trees, especially redwoods and stuff around the world, that are like really protected and you're not even allowed to go to them anymore because of people like this, because people vandalize them or they carve stupid things into them. It's It really is a shame. It makes you a bit embarrassed to be human, doesn't it? It's like, ah. Oh, yeah, I can see why aliens haven't visited us. We just kind of like destroy things around us because there's always a bad apple, isn't there? R slash stupid questions. Am I the butthole for hiding fake drugs in my friend's luggage during a trip to Thailand? Yeah. Yes, you are. So my friend and I went on holiday to Thailand recently. You're really gonna explain this. You're really gonna like elaborate on the, okay. And on our way back, I thought it would be funny to create bricks of drugs using flour and hide it in his luggage. It's not even like a small slip, it's like a literal brick of wannabe cocaine. That's pretty wild. Naturally, my friend got stopped and searched at the airport, then spent the next couple of days getting questioned by the Thai police before being released. Now he's back in the UK, but he's refusing to talk to me and told me what a massive BP I was for pulling that prank on him. I think he's just being a whiny bish who can't take a joke. Am I the butthole in this situation? <laughs> I don't... This can't be real, right? This can't actually be real. Ah, Thailand, the land of the death penalty for important drugs. Great job, a-hole. Ooh, maybe this is the YouTuber that was shot. Oh, no, that was a delivery guy. Okay, but maybe it's the same person. Maybe you say a prankster. It just happens to be shot sometimes. You know, when you pull pranks of this caliber, that sort of makes sense. This can't be real, can it? Is this just a rage bait article or some troll having a piss? If real, this fricker is lucky his friend didn't get imprisoned just for freaking around. It's sad and alarming how so folks are just so freaking unbelievably stupid. And yeah, the friend would be over. Yeah, I would never be friends with someone, uh, considering it was real. I mean, I would say it's 80% this is a rage bait, 20% it's true, or maybe vaguely based on something real in the first place. But I would never be friends with someone like this. Can you imagine traveling with a group of friends or a partner or something, and there's always the risk that, oh, this friend might slip a fake brick of cocaine in my luggage, you know? Let's hope I don't get torn to shreds by f***ing airport dogs. <laughs> Woo! So here are two cars parked, right? One to the right who's like in his lane and one to the left who's parked really poorly. And here's a note. Learn how to park. If you see someone parked already, why would you squeeze this box of wheels in the space? There are a million spots still open. The garage my car has been hit three times in this garage. And I appreciate if people use common sense of parking, blah, 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 really angry. And then you think, Obviously, the white car got this note, right? No, that's where you're wrong. The white car driver put this note on the other car. You can see it right there in the windshield. So they did not only park as an absolute butt and covered two parking spots. They got angry at someone for squeezing into that parking spot they were like already leaning over into. So it's like a double face pop. They not only don't know how to park, but they shame people to park correctly for just parking close to them. <laughs> And some people should not have driver's license. Man, this facepalm really has me rolling. <laughs> I think you misunderstood how big UK is. It's like going to Jersey, then Monsey, then Washington, then Texas, then New York on a smaller scale, all out of order. You'll be going all over the place. Doubt you will have time to get out of your car or sleep. Be body positive. Hello, please do not use fat phobic phrases or words such as big. <laughs> Okay? <laughs> Hurtful language about body image can have significant negative impact. We're talking about the UK, though. We're talking about the UK. Can have significant negative impacts on an individual's mental health and self-esteem. Okay? That bot is trolling. Yeah, it must be trolling, right? It must be trolling. I refuse to believe that someone programmed the bot that would consider a word big to be like a slur. Redditors will make up a guy, get mad at them, then go and create that guy as a bot to get mad at them. Legit insane behavior. I mean, to be fair, this is just the behavior that I think we all do in the shower. You know, when you make up a fake argument just so you can win it in the shower. It's like, oh, I remember that discussion I had with, with, a, with a crappy customer five years ago. But now, when I'm standing in the shower, it's like the perfect conversation, the comebacks and the zingers. 
Yeah, it's kinda like that, <laughs> but maybe you should project it on a public space. <laughs> that turns a little bit cringe. So in reality, there's like a facepalm nested inside another facepalm. That's kind of funny, because it is a facepalm, but then the facepalm is a fake facepalm, which is kind of a facepalm, because it's kind of facepalm to make the fake facepalm just to be angry about the facepalmy moment. Fascinating. You can be inside my facepalm if you know- RFK Jr. Wi-Fi radiation opens up your blood-brain barrier, so all these toxins that are in your blood can now go into your brain. What is a blood barrier? I mean, isn't blood just kind of flowing? No? What would a blood barrier look like? Rogan, how does Wi-Fi open up your blood-brain barrier? Now you've gone beyond my expertise, but you just made the claim, though. You just- if you can't even explain the basic principle, maybe it's just a little bit of poo-poo, no? Mm? Maybe it smells like a little bit of ding ba doom ba doom Let's see, I'm gonna bump up the brightness a bit, because the brightness outside went to absolute shit. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow, Click, you're so bright because of your... Oh! Studio lights! Haha! <laughs> Thank you. It's also because of my very wrinkly, voluptuous brain. Don't worry. I'll sell you a hair conditioner that I make that will block the Wi-Fi radiation for $75. Sold! Maybe it contains aluminum. <laughs> like that guy that wrapped his phone in aluminum. <laughs> One of my neighbors won't use a microwave because he says the rays will penetrate your body and cause cancer. Yes, he is a Trump supporter. Oh, sounds like my ex-wife. She also thought magic crystals could heal anything. Well, they couldn't heal our marriage or those microwaves. <laughs> I just imagine coming home to someone and like their microwave is just surrounded in cool little rocks and you're just like, wow, do you enjoy rock decorations too? And they're like, no, they block out the cancer waves. Huh? Proud dad here. Not only is my daughter a redneck, but she's a great hound hunter too. God bless the South. And here is this father that takes a picture of his daughter in a confederate bikini with two hunting dogs and a pickup truck that has a ton of stickers. <laughs> Fam, what is this picture? Attention white people. Stop making brown people's food. Huh? It is not your to steal or claim as your own. If you want Asian food, Latino food, Indian food, or anything that isn't mayo... <laughs> okay. Then go buy it from brown people. In respect for the... Just... just <laughs> the way this is written, it's just... It feels ugly in your mouth, doesn't it? In a respectful manner. Don't take up space in their spaces. Brown people food. That's how... That... What? What the frick is this dumb poo? I will make whatever food I want. Ah, uh, it's rage bait. Uncomfortable as it is, these people actually exist. It what happens when you tell a segment of the population that racism is cool when they do it. Edit, though I stand by my point in generality, I checked this account and it's obviously a troll, which does somewhat improve my faith in humanity. I mean, on a positive note, if the account is a troll account, and you also look at the engagement where it has <laughs> 9 likes and 928 comments, that also brings a little bit of hope in humanity. Maybe this was aliens, after all, testing us and be like, okay, if people actually enjoy this tweet, then we'll never visit humanity. If they disagree with this bullshit take, then maybe we'll give them a chance in the future. Good on you. Maybe aliens will visit us yet. Thank you, Twitter. Oklahoma woman killed by wing of plane when riding lawnmower at air Airport. How does that work? Like, did she manage to break through the security fencing and stuff and just joyriding a lawnmower? That sounds wild. A woman was killed by the wing of a plane while riding a lawnmower last week, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol reported. This is my hometown. It is not that weird. There is minimal air traffic control. It's an airstrip in a town of like 5,000 people. Pretty sure this lady worked for the city and was mowing around the airstrip. No communication equals accidents waiting to happen. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. It's more of a naked airstrip with like grass and vegetation around as she was probably cutting the grass and then a plane came unannounced and the wing was a bit close and schmack. That's really sad. That's really sad. Wow, what poor communication, man. An actual billboard in Colorado. Lauren Bobert. She'll jerk you off. What, d this went through review? S someone actually paid for this. <laughs> My god. You know, when I see things like this on my feed from the Great Merca, nowadays I struggle to tell if it's like a parody or real because the Venn diagram between the parody and the real is like a circle at this point. It's pretty wild. Apparently, I have been using my inhaler wrong this whole time. Inhale one to two puffs every six hours into left ear <laughs> when needed. Ah, oh, I got a bit of asthma today. Better take my inhaler. <laughs> 
Ah yes, my ears can breathe more clearly already. Woman was struck by hit and run driver, then run over by police officer minutes later. Yes indeed, protect and serve. Protecting from those horrendous medical costs, you know? Isn't that just a service? Just getting um, the, the, the action you do with your fingers and intimacy and all that kind of stuff. At, can I even say that word on TikTok? Exposing someone's fiancé for having harmless fun at the bachelorette party is insane behavior. Let girls have some fun on the last free day of their lives. All right. All right, there's a decent amount to unpack here. My God, it feels like Christmas, doesn't it? Number one, it's a little bit weird to do like that kind of intimate activities on a bachelorette party. Unless it's like really agreed on as okay between the partners, but I would be very uneasy if this was the case on like a bachelor or bachelorette party I was at. Number two, if you think that like the last free day of their lives, the day before the marriage or the week before the marriage, that's probably not the right attitude to have. That sounds awful. Yeah, there are, there are at least two red flags in this. Congratulations. Drunk dental receptionist who groped and told 13-year-old boy, I am going to ride you till more. Oh, yeah, I remember reading this. Yay, and all the reactions on social media were just great. The 13-year-old who has ADHD said he was so traumatized by the encounter that he tried to do, like, the game over stuff, which is really tragic. The in the mood for naughtiest generation of women are being wasted on the weakest generation of men. Said, it's a 13-year-old boy. It is not. A man? What the frick? Bro, he's 13. I was already making out with girls and feeling bobs at 13. Making out with girls and feeling bobs at 18. This, <laughs> this doesn't sound real. I had friends that were doing that before I was. We simply live in a gayer time. I swear to God, this person is probably the same as that previous person who's like, Oh my God, the LGBTQ and grooming and all that kind of BS, but then they do stuff like this. It's so freaking wild. Now, now they're like arguing the opposite, isn't it? Oh, we live in a gayer time because we no longer think it's okay to grope 13-year-olds. <laughs> do you know how small 13-year-olds are? This is insane. I am sure he was feeling bobs and kissing girls at 13 in his fantasies. Who the frick says that they were feeling bobs and kissing girls if they were actually doing it? It reminds me of the scene in 40 Year Old Virgin where Steve Carell makes the comment that bobs feel like bags of sand. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It sounds really weird. It sounds like when a 15 year old talks about like, Oh my god, yeah, I'm so cool and I get all the girls. You know, it's that, it's that kind of vibe. Guarantee that that guy has made posts about LGBTQ people grooming people. Yes, yes, exactly. It's all, it's all, it's a Venn, it's a Venn diagram circle. It's Venn diagram circle. But with situations like this, it's so sad that it's still being framed this way. Like, it's so disgusting. It's, oh, just because it's a woman. Oh, where was she when I was 13? Hopefully far away from you. Jesus Christ, do you realize how impressionable and vulnerable you are at 13? Oh my freaking God. Tonight, the Ad Oriolas became the first pro team to wear uniforms with braille lettering. Awesome. Hashtag bigger than baseball. <laughs> the blind community is going to be so touched when they see this. Okay, to be fair though, to be fair though, it, the, the thought is very wholesome. A wholesome, nice, inclusive little thought. It's not quite as bad as that time when I was reading this on a fireplace and it said like, you know, it's hot, do not touch this. And it's like braille on the fireplace. It's like, oh, pff, pff, ah, it's hot, I shouldn't touch it. Too late, too late. It's not that bad, but it's not particularly well thought through, is it? For four years, I have received insane notes and threats from Trumpers who believe I work for the New York Times. I don't. I never have. But in various bios, it say New York Times best-selling author, and they cannot tell the difference. How pathetic is that? They're just going around to random authors who were just featured in the newspaper. <laughs> Oh, here's the same article again. Drunk dental receptionist who groped the 13-year-old boy. Blah, 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 blah. Spared jail? Oh, come on. The 13-year-old, he said, was so traumatized by the encounter. This is what a world without bullying leads to. Ah, yes, indeed. You know this traumatized 13-year-old who were just literally sexually assaulted by an adult? You know what they need in their life? Hmm? A bit of bullying. Yes, indeed. You know, they were already thinking about the game over stuff. They were already struggling with this, traumatized by the situation, and preyed on by adults. You know, yeah, a bit of bullying will set them right. You know, fight fire with fire. That'll, that'll harden him for life. I swear to God, these dudes are like mixing up the fact that, oh my God, I had like my first vet dream when I was 13 with like, oh, pedophilia is okay. It's, it's a pretty wild leap to make, to be honest. Or as my dangerously stupid coworker once said, It's suspicious how they make the virus only hurt people who aren't getting those shots. Mm-hmm. Isn't it suspicious how people who just happen to not wear seatbelts just get hurt more in car accidents? It is a conspiracy. What do they have against people without seatbelts? 
Irony. Well said. A lesson in irony. The food stamp program administered by the U.S. Department of Agriculture is proud to be distributing this year greatest amounts of free meals and food stamps ever to 46 million people. Meanwhile, the National Park Service administered by the U.S. Department of Interior asks us please do not feed the animals. Please do not feed the animals. Is this a comparison you're gonna, you're gonna make here? Is this really a lesson in irony? Yeah? Their stated reason for the policy is because the animals will grow dependent on handouts and will not learn to take care of themselves. Thus ends today's lesson in irony. Not only did you just compare people to animals, which uh, I was hoping we had left in the past, but <laughs> but then also you're comparing people living in society and struggling in in the economy and that kind of stuff with like animals that like hunt in the forest for a living. You know, it's not particularly comparable. And it's also really yikes. So I guess we're just gonna have to find a job to our cats and dogs to justify them leeching off our work. Yeah, lazy cats. Oh my god, Simba's just laying around all day being being freaking lardy and diabetic. He needs to work. He needs to work the coal mines. Today, my boyfriend put holly collars uh, when we were doing dirty stuff and now wants to do more dirty stuff with collars because we like it like that. <laughs> Lol. But what if I get prego during this and it gets collared? What if my babies come out to be collared? What happens, dear Cora, if I have like collars around me and my baby is purple? Hmm? What happens then? Is that a thing? Yes, Courtney. Yes. Very yes. This is the same kind of vibe of that person who asked if you could inherit tattoos from your parents. Wouldn't that be amazing? We would all just look like, <laughs> like freaking graffiti boards after a few generations. <laughs> I'm gonna tattoo a penis in my forehead. All my descendants. <laughs> oh, they're gonna have it rough. Dad rages after daughter's private school claims dinosaurs didn't exist. A dad has been left outraged after discovering that his daughter's school has been trying to brainwash her into believing evolution isn't real and the world is only around 6,000 years old. Ooh, quality school. They're threatened by the existence of dinosaurs. They can't deal with how cool they are. On Earth, Maggie Mission puts hand in his hat. In the rabbit realm, the hand emerges. It is time. The rabbit council must choose to sacrifice. <laughs> Actually, that is not what is happening. Magicians use the techniques such as misdirections and prestigitation to pull off these illusions. <laughs> yes, I know I am nerdy. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, yes, they just use sleight of hand. Mm hmm Oh my god, I feel like we have all met this sort of person at like a party or a social gathering where you're sitting around the table, you've just told a story or a funny joke, and everyone's like, ha ha ha, the vibes are good, and there's that one dude in the corner who's like, I'm <laughs> act to my lady. And it's just like, it's a joke, fam. It's a joke, but they go like on a 20-minute tirade about like the facts and just go completely off the rails. Ah, I feel this in my spine. R slash vegan. So true. You're not lactose intolerant. You're just not a baby cow. And then there's an image of someone being fed by a cow that looks like it should belong on some like R34 furry website. <laughs> what is it with like vegan stuff and doing these things on like same as PETA when they're just posting like soft corn naughties, which is like, oh my god, cow milk is not for you. Like, what, who is this appealing to? What's, what's your demographic, fam? New York Post, NYC medic helped make ends meet with racy OnlyFans side gig. Leave her alone. The actual scandalous headline here is medics in the United States need two jobs to survive. Yeah, it's a little bit nastily formulated, is it? I don't, I don't, I don't like that. It turns out the man who is in Russian's anti-woke military ad is a gay nude model. <laughs> Yes, indeed. The gay infiltration has begun. This reminds me of that pretty wholesome story where there was this like conversion camp or something gross like that at some part in the USA. But the leader of the conversion camp was like an undercover gay person. So all these like super conservative parents sent their gay kids there to be converted, which is really gross. But then they ended up in this camp with these leaders who were all like LGBTQ and be like, hey kids, yeah, let's talk about identity and learn to be ourselves and that kind of thing and just have fun this summer. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. We need to do more stuff like this. How one 31-year-old paid off $220,000 in student loans in three years. Back home in Julay, Illinois, Horton took a job as an operation manager at the nonprofit her mother runs. Mm -hmm. uh, boyfriend tied the knot soon after the move. Horton's mother gave the couple a condo that she had purchased at an auction for $13,000. That sounds really low. Is it actually 
is supposed to be 130,000, maybe? I don't know. It became crucial in wiping away the hefty student loan debt. Horton and her husband lived in the condo for three months, but then they decided to move in with her grandparents down the street and started renting out the condo to bring an extra income. You see, that's the key to getting rid of student loan. Have a rich mom, have the rich mom give you property, be a landlord with some property. Easy. Anyone can do it. Follow me for more life hacks. Our wording does not ruin your whole life. It is a single brief event, possibly only lasting minutes. Society grossly exaggerates how hard our word is because the only crime that focuses on women is to ask people if they'd rather get our word or life destroyed to pick the... What do you mean life destroyed? They can very much be the same thing. You are absolutely unhinged and also kind of like telling on yourself, right? Because you're trying to excuse this very horrific action and you're also saying like, oh, it only lasts a couple of minutes. You're like telling on yourself in both ways. Do you realize this, my horrible sir? This statement minimizes the profound psychological impact of our wording. It can lead to enduring trauma, depression, PTSD, flashbacks, self-harm, and more. It is crucial to recognize and support survivors, acknowledging the gravity of their experience. Yes, indeed. <sighs> you know, the good thing about social media is that it gives everyone a voice. The bad part about social media is that it gives everyone a voice. Joe is horrified that Taylor Swift, who is 33, said, Let's freaking go! during a sporting event. Ah, oh, I am sorry if I heard that and my son was dating a girl who has a mouth like Teamster. That is it. No. Oh. oh no, my son's girlfriend made a sword. <laughs> oh. Aren't these the same people that talk about like snowflakes being triggered and stuff? I think it is. Elon Musk, Imagination Land. Imagine a vaccine so safe you have to be threatened to take it. Is this just like a repost of the thing I read in the last Confidently Incorrect video? No way. For a disease so deadly you have to be tested to know you have it. Musky hus- is this actually real? That blows my- Musky Husky, please. Musky Husky, why? I mean, Musky Husky, for God's sake, cancer screenings are a thing. Like, we're gonna make the same argument. How can cancer be dangerous if you have to screen for it to know you even have it? Like, but- me, before 2019, watching any zombie movie. Oh, this plot is really dumb. People cannot be as dumb in a worldwide infection. Me, after 2019. <laughs> we are doomed. I used to think there is no way people will be so stupid or selfish to not tell friends and family they were bitten by a zombie or vampire. Then COVID happened and people bragged about going to family events contagious. The biggest outbreak in my state was at a nursing home started by a nurse who went to a large wedding against the rules at the time, then went to work sick, even logged all the symptoms as then required. She killed a lot of old folks who had no choice over who worked there in the name of freedom, pre-vaccine. Yeah, no, if there is one thing that the pandemic has taught me is that if there actually is, for example, a zombie outbreak at some point, we are royally fucked. Like, there's no question about it. We are so fucking fucked. They're just telling you to not get bitten by a zombie because because they want you to be sheeple and they want you to... They're working on an mRNA vaccine for cancer. Okay, that sounds pretty nifty. I am good. I'll continue eating healthy, working out, getting sunlight and laughter. Haha, <laughs> if God decides it's my time, then it's my time. Have you actually seen someone suffering from cancer? I ask. Like, have you, have you seen what it actually does to people. I don't think you will have this cocky attitude when you're standing there realizing the fate you're facing. I'm just gonna be honest. If God decided my time, that is my time. <laughs> I'll never be taking an experimental mRNA injection. Anyone else? How does this have 20,000 likes? That is absolutely insane. But I suppose, you know, I'm actually less upset about this than some other anti-vax stuff because like this isn't contagious you know if you want to skip out on this that's fine that's more vaccines for cancer for the rest of us go nuts whatever reminder to shut off phones computer tv if smart tv about 11 a.m or so emf radiation the government is blasting not sure if it's true or not but worth doing i'm so confused about what people think is going to happen it's the national emergency test frequency could cause issues with folks who had shots <laughs> It's gonna be like this. <laughs> it's like when you microwave aluminum. It's like your TV is gonna and then you just, you just explode. Disclaimer for YouTube that was a joke. You're not gonna be microwaved by your TV because you got vaccinated. Thank you. How is it going to cause issues though? No, 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 don't, don't, don't ask those questions. That's not important. The important thing 
is that they know it's true for reasons. Yesterday's US emergency alert reportedly caused several Amish people to be shunned by exposing them for owning iPhones. No, no way. <laughs> Donald J. Trump, this the most accurate court sketch of all time because nobody could have made it this far alone. You see, it's Trump and Jesus in court. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Joe has something to share with the world. Let's see what Joe has to say this fine day. If you attend more Taylor Swift concert, then church, and you are mad at my post, therein lies the issue. My point is, Taylor is in her mid-30s and not as successful in terms of what we measure success by for woman, childbearing, and marriage. She is rich. She is poor when it comes to things that actually really matter. That's my point. If you're a woman and offended by that, it says more about you than me. Well, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if I would waste the feeling of being offended. I just don't think anyone cares about your opinion. But in the name of face palm, it goes something like, like this. Oh, yes, indeed. You know, Joe, I would also say a sign of a successful man is also not molding <laughs> over the decision of some pop star that will never know who you are and you don't personally know even. That's not a sign of a successful man, Joe. I think we both know that. My parents spanked me as a child. As a result, I now suffer from a psychological condition known as respect for others. Man, this is such like a live, laugh, love sign, but even worse <laughs> because it like promotes beating your child. Can you imagine coming home to someone and seeing this on the wall? Oh my god. Dear Shanka, I have so much. Please give all my clothes to all the naked girls of my daddy's phone. <laughs> Love, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god. One American standing behind another. Yeah, America Jesus. Master Bedebitation is self -r wording This message is brought to you by the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints. What? An eight-year-old shouldn't have to do this. An eight-year-old shouldn't have to do this. An eight-year-old shouldn't be doing this. An eight-year-old shouldn't have to do this. Yeah, the Reddit bots are rampant. I'm starting to deal with this on my own little subreddit as well. Check out the subreddit r slash to click. Oh, whoa, that last part has nothing to do with anything. It's just scrambled nonsense. But anyway, yeah, bots like this are really nasty because oftentimes they also steal artwork like there could be someone who's made a super cool piece of fan artwork posted it like a year ago and then there's a bot that is composite it, pastes it now and because the artwork is still good and there's gonna be people now that didn't see it a year ago it still gets a bunch of upvotes so the bot is just stealing artwork it's uh, it's kind of nasty snoozer or alpha 15 signs you're a snoozer male super rare and is it better than alpha damn it's like holographic pokemon cards what sort of alpha male are you take my quiz below only geniuses will crack this give it a try too when i was four years old my sister was half my age now i'm a hundred years how old is my sister <laughs> 50 50 50 50 50 yeah because it's half yeah <laughs> Well, that is enough suffering for today. I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. You beautiful, wonderful bean. And thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. And I hope to see you in the very near future. And remember to say goodbye to Mr. Facepump. Goodbye. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much, Facepump. This is the first polite thing you've said today. Have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.